Does a connection to the land influence creativity? Does being in a thin place, a mystical place, affect an artist's ability to create? Dingle artist Carol Cronin talks about how living on the Great Blasket Island transformed her as an artist. So Carol, Carol Cronin, is that it? That's right. Okay. And where are you from? I'm from Wicklow, I'm from the east coast of Ireland. And so do you believe that a place or the spiritual energy of a place has anything to do with a person's ability to create? Yes, I think it has everything to do with it. And I think I have proof. Um, I, I love traveling. I've been, uh, although I'm from the east coast of, of Ireland, I've been, I left when I was about 20. I lived in London, Glasgow, Paris, um, and then finally settled in Amsterdam, in Holland, for 10 years. Um, all the time painting abstract work, and loving it, like really enjoying it. But I came here in 2002 for a short visit. Here in so, Dingle? Here's Dingle. Okay. Um, and more specifically, I visited the Great Blasket Island, with my younger sister. And I can only say that as soon as I stepped onto that island, my entire life changed. I don't know why, I don't know what it was, but I knew I was going to move there. And sure enough, within three weeks, I was living here on, on the Blasket Island. And my work also just, I just stopped painting abstract work. Um, I knew I had to paint the sea, I knew I had to paint what was around me, but I actually st stopped painting completely and started drawing because I was too afraid to start painting immediately. A lot of very, very detailed drawings of the sea, of my surroundings, and then one year later, I started painting. So I had to develop a, a new technique, I had to approach it in a very slow and considered way because it was such a powerful, it, just the surroundings had such a powerful in, impact on me. Oh, painting yeah. there of the Alhambra in Granada, I stayed there for eight months um, and I just couldn't paint. It is a beautiful, beautiful place, but I had no connection to the land, I had no spiritual connection, I don't know what you want to call it, but no inspiration. And it was the greatest proof to me that it very much matters where you are, you know, what inspires you. And I came back to the misty greys and silvers and the clouds of Ireland and I've never been happy to live here. It's like camping. <laughs> but then for the other six months I live by the beach, by the sea, and I do a lot of my work um, in the wintertime. Uh, painting and sitting in the car doing drawings with the windscreen wipers going like crazy and the, the storms and everything. Um, and it's a lovely balance because I continue on painting and painting as, as I'm here, but uh, it's a great balance to be here talking to the people that come in and you get to know the people who buy your work and where your work goes to. And that's really why I set up with my own and I took my work back from the galleries in order to be able to but I, I care about them, I care where they go to. And you care where the paintings go? Yeah, mm -hmm. you, How long did you live on the, the Great Blasket You lived on the Great Blasket Island, the one that was populated now. That's right. No, it wasn't really populated. You couldn't really say that unless you count three as a population. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would be... Uh, I moved there in June. Uh, I took a rucksack with me from Amsterdam. And I thought, I'll come back and I'll get my stuff uh, later four years to go back and get my stuff. It was wow. like I just didn't want to leave. But I only stayed on the island itself um, from June until October. And then uh, I moved on to, I moved to Dunquin, which is the mm -hmm. tiny, weeny uh, little village. It has a one pub right. and some houses and that's it. But the most fantastic people in the world. So I moved there and I lived there for eight years or so. Hmm. Yeah, and that, that will always have to say my home in Ireland. So there's a draw of the land. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. How can people get your thank work? You I suppose my website is the way to... And what is your website? It's carolcronin.com. C-A-R-O-L-C-R-O-N-I-N. That's it. Okay, yeah. thank you, Carol. You're very welcome.